Hi, everybody. This is Charles from GMAT Ninja, GMAT Club's verbal expert, here with GMAT Club's verbal question of the day. If you haven't seen this question before, please hit the pause button, give this a shot on your own. For the rest of you, we're going to keep moving. First thing that jumps out at me on this one is you look at A, three pronouns, all its. Now, one of the, the questions I get all the time, what's going on with these its here? These are called non-referential pronouns. I'm not going to say a ton about them here if you want more of an explanation. Come see us on the forum. We talk much more about them on the forum on this question. The quick, quick version. This is something like saying it is raining. We're talking about a general condition. Are these okay here? I don't like them. I don't think there's a great reason to use three of them here. It costs about the same. I'm also not certain, certain it's wrong. Let me look for other things that might be more certain eliminations. Luckily, we have that very, very clear subject verb error. The fixed costs make it more expensive, not the fixed costs makes. Same exact issue in C. The fixed costs makes is wrong. So for that reason, we can get rid of A and C fairly easily. Don't have to hurt too many brain cells on those non-referential pronouns just yet. Now, as we look at D, a bunch of little funky issues here. As we look at that pronoun again, this time we have a they, legitimately confusing, is that they referring back to the nuclear plants or for the other types of power plants, not totally clear. Again, ambiguity is not an absolute rule on the GMAT, but I'd rather avoid it here if I can. Let's see if there's anything else we can work with. Stemming from the fixed cost of building nuclear plants, again, a little bit confusing. We've got this modifier, this participle, if you like the jargon. I'm not quite sure what it's referring to here. It's not the electricity. The electricity doesn't stem from the fixed cost of building the power plants. It's the fact that they're more expensive. Not really clear there. I'm not sure that this is really in the right shape. And then we still have that non-referential pronoun it, and I just don't think we have a great reason to use it. Look at B and E by comparison. It avoids that issue entirely, and these are much, much better constructions in B and E. So plenty of reasons, even if you don't love any one of those reasons. We've got three reasons why D is not great. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And now as we look at B and E, nice, clean comparison error. In E, we have the cost of running the nuclear plants is the same as the other types of plants. So we're comparing the cost to the types of plants. That doesn't really make sense. But as you look at B, much, much clearer. The cost is the same as four other types of power plants. So B is clear here. E definitely is not logical. And for that reason, B is our winner. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Again, this is Charles with GMAT Ninja. See you on the forums.